What's going on everyone? It's Adam here from Adam's Nintendo World and we're doing kind of an investigation here. Uh, at this part in the story, what's actually gonna happen is uh, Professor uh, Leventon is gonna provide us 50 Pokeballs to catch three Pokemon, a Rowlet, an Oshawott, and a Cyndaquil. They're the three Pokemon you see him with at the beginning of the game and ultimately you're gonna be able to pick one of those three. But I wanna see what happens if you waste the 50 Pokeballs and don't actually catch the three Pokemon. I'm wondering if there's a cool dialogue option that pops up. I'm wondering if there's a cool, if you can break the game, which I, I highly doubt you can break the game, but we're gonna waste all 50 Pokeballs he gives us and then see what happens. Um, in the standard, when you play this the regular way, if you just catch all three, the story just kind of continues on. He says, you're so good. No one's caught three Pokemon in a row before. You know, this is brand new stuff, how talented you are, and that's how it kind of moves forward. So, I'm going to show, I'm going to show some footage, <clears throat> I'm going to show some footage of what happens if you waste all 50 of your Pokeballs that he gives you. Alright, yet another mess. Ah, I'm glad you came to rescue my new friends from the, uh, rescue my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see? Yeah, I bet not. I'm not going to be the best either on purpose. I'd love to give it. I'd love for you to give it a go, but I'd love to give you a go at it. But perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. All right. So he's just going to explain the three Pokemon. That's Rowlet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Plants. Attacks with feathers. Easily done. Right. Okay. Who's this? This is Cyndaquil. Great. Fire on his burning on his back. Yes. And then last one will be Oshawa. Then he's going to give us 50 Pokeballs. We're going to waste them all. And then see what happens. Um, yeah, yeah. Push, push. Oh, my. I forgot a crucial thing. I had to care about catching a Pokemon. He's going to show us how. All right. Throw these at the Pokemon to catch them. I got 50 of them. Okay. Um, does he say anything about, like, coming back if we run out? He's going to be more thorough. Uh, they're strange, marvelous creatures. Yeah. Great. Uh, that's where Pokeball comes in. The recent inventions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'll fit inside. We know all that. All right, no one else to turn to. I'm glad you could. Proper aim, take aim and throw. Okay, we're going to get a little dialogue box here. I know how to do it. We're going to press ZR to to set up, and then we're just going to... But we're just going to do this. And we're going to see what happens. So there's some Pokemon right there. But we're purposely wasting these Pokeballs. So there's Rowlet up there, in case you're wondering. Might as well be a little... In, uh, provide you a little information. There's Cyndaquil by the rocks. Oshwit by the pond. Rowlet up here by the tree. But... We need to waste all these Pokeballs first. So let's keep wasting them. And uh, how far can you throw them? Okay. That, can we get farther than that? That's as high up as I can go, but I think the arc might be too much. Oh yeah, that was shorter. Okay. How about that? That's pretty good. That might be the farthest you can actually throw it. Which, for the record, is... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. About 10 paces away from yourself. Which is pretty cool. Alright, let's waste the rest of these Pokeballs. Let's not wait too much longer. <clears throat> so, what happens if you waste all 50 Pokeballs and don't catch the three Pokemon? Alright, so we're all out. Let's go talk to the Professor. Aw, oh, man, nothing cool. It says, if you run out of Pokeballs, just come talk to me. Now, now, please aim carefully before throwing. These Pokeballs are quite valuable, you know. All right, we got 10 more. Let's just waste the 10, and let's, I just want to see if you get any kind of different dialogue or it's just going to be the same stuff. I'm just curious. All right. Let's talk to him again. Now, now, please aim carefully. And we get 10 more. All right, I'm going to try it one more time, and then I'm going to assume that's all we get. And then we'll go catch all three. And then we'll end this video. I was just curious if there was anything like they cool that they like buried in the game or something. Doesn't seem like it. <clears throat> Should we do it one more time just for science? Let's just waste this. Maybe you have to do it like 10 times. I don't know. No, doesn't seem like it. I think that seems to be it. <clears throat> okay, so nothing cool, unfortunately. Um... Nothing cool for for wasting Pokeballs. Alright, that's one. Cyndaquil's caught. Great. Great, yep. Yeah. Alright. 
Let's go get the other ones. Uh, Oshawa. Oshawa, there we go. Wait some more, just to see. <laughs> we'll have to go back to the professor. Alright, so we got Oshawa. We got Cyndaquil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's go back, get more Pokeballs, see if the see if the, the dialogue changes at all. I was hoping that they buried just one more. I'm out of Pokeballs. Wait. Oh, no, I have one left. Alright, now I'm out. Let's see what he says. Oh, no. Okay. Nothing cool happens. That's really unfortunate. It, they could have put in some really cool dialogue if you wasted a ton of Pokeballs. Like, him worrying about the cost or whatever else. You know what I mean? We're not going to catch it in one go, I bet. Oh, no, that happens. All right. That, they could have done something cool if you wasted the Pokeballs. Not that anybody would go find out, but I mean, like, I would have found out, right, during this video. Okay. Well, there you have it, guys. Nothing happens if you waste all the Pokeballs. He just gives you even more Pokeballs back. So don't get too excited. Nothing's going to happen. Don't waste your time. That's that's the goal here. Don't waste your time. This is what happens if you waste all the Pokeballs he gives you. Absolutely nothing. You get that one extra line of dialogue that says, please don't waste them. They're valuable or something like that. Okay, so uh, like I told you guys in an earlier video, we showed off what happens when you waste all of your Pokeballs before you even get started trying to catch Cyndaquil and um, Cyndaquil and Rowlet and um, Oshawott. I'm going to attempt to do the same thing here in this in this little part of the video. We're going to waste all our Pokeballs and just see what happens. This is Aspiration Hill. The species of Pokemon you're meant to catch all live here. Very beautiful. Okay. Let's do this. Obsidian Fieldlands. And along comes a Bidoof. Yeah. <laughs> Very cute. I like it. I like watching it roam. The key is to aim carefully. Now that you seem to need my... Not that you seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. Okay, hold down Z all button to focus on a wild Pokemon to keep it in your sights as long as it's nearby. This technique comes in. So we talked about this earlier. Bidoof has a mellow disposition. That means it tends not to run from people. So this will be easy. This will be easy. Let's do it. Okay, but what we're going to do is just for science again. Let's throw these balls away. Like this. So we got 20 from the professor. And we're going to waste them all. Just to see what happens. Because I'm just curious. Like, we didn't get anything cool the first time. Let's see if we get something cool here. I'm out of Pokeballs. Run dry of Pokeballs. Here, I've got some extra. Good luck. Ah, dang it. Okay, nothing happens. So, in the two situations where you have to use a set number of Pokeballs to catch a set number of Pokemon, nothing will happen if you waste them. Disappointing. But nonetheless, there it is. Now let's actually catch some Pokemon. 